guys so we're here with another video and um right now it is just it just started to pour as you can see but we are building a second pond actually i don't know if you consider that a pond or not but this might be our third pond anyway sorry for the wind it's windy right now but we are going to be building it right here we have two of those little troughs this big one and we're going to set it up on some rocks right here we're going to have to take some of these plants out, unfortunately. Not all of it. We're just going to trim it a little. And we'll have it coming right down along here. First one will be about yay high. Second one about there. And then third, that big one. This will be a little guppy pond. Um, previous owner of this... There, so it's raining again. The previous owner of this um, had problems with it overheating. But right here, it's pretty much shaded. Because the sun rises over there. It pretty much is shaded all day long until the sun gets right about here, which is right around 5 o'clock. So it'll have full sunlight from 5 to 8, which is 3 hours, and I don't think it's going to heat it up that much. And if it does, we can just run some cool water in it. But it'll have all night and all day to cool down, so I'm pretty sure it'll be good. But right now, I'm just going to start some basic small landscaping, getting rid of this flower right here, or not, just cut it in half more or less leveling this out doing some minor weeding so we know what we're working with we have a bunch of weeds to fill in too so or um a bunch of rocks that we're going to build them up with so i will see you guys oh, i guess i'll try and roll a time lapse right now if i'm able to roll the time lapse it stopped raining sort of it's a lot better now um so who knows this might turn out to be a not such a sucky one day pond build So we're back. We got this all filled up. Um, so right now, it's all done. Well, no, all this. I don't know why I said it's all done. This is all done right here. We cleared this out, as you saw in the hyperlapse or the time lapse. Sorry, I couldn't get this on film, but because it was like stuck at an angle like this. So sorry about that, guys. But basically, leveled this out and filled it up with water. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure yet. But I might, in the future, I'd have to worry about that washing down, so I'd have to put a wall right there or something. But I might dig this out and put a little pond right in there where I dug all that dirt out, but I'm not sure. But right now, I need to get cinder blocks or something to stack up so that, the you know, instead of filling it with dirt or using my rocks, I need to put something right here to boost it up a little. Just as like a starter and then I can prop rocks on the outside. But I will get back to you guys once once I have that done. I'm not going to roll a time lapse because it's just going to be, you know, kind of boring. So I'll pick up with you guys when I have that done. Okay guys, so we're back. It just got really dark. Oh, it just started raining. So I got all three waterfalls set up. And this is just looking great. I got to bury that, add some more water there because as I filled these it sucked out of there. Basically, I put dirt. I'm going to put dirt all right here and mound it up over there. So that'll look good. But this is all. I've just been doing some minor work leveling it out with the dirt. I just put two fish boxes, actually, like what they ship live fish in. I just put two of those in there. Um, I cut some of this one off, as you can see. But it is really about to get nasty. But... Yeah, look at the goats running up. Holy cow. This is about to dump some serious rain. Look at them. They're so mad. 
Look at this rain though. Holy cow. Okay, I'm really like sprinting now. Holy cow. It is raining like crazy. I just filled the pond up too. I hope it doesn't overflow. As you can see, this isn't even getting wet right here. Like, there's no drops on that. Jeans, I can keep working on this, hopefully. But this is, look at this. This is insane. Huh. Anyway, hopefully you guys can still sort of hear me. But I'm going to, oh, there it started raining on it. This is really, really raining. But I'm going to have to get some foam to put right back there. Just some waterproof foam. I'll get that at Home Depot's or I'll order it on Amazon. Basically, I'm going to be doing some more leveling on this. Adding some more dirt. I'm just getting my dirt right here. I might end up adding a little pond back there. I don't know. I don't think I will. I mean, it's kind of small. I don't have to worry about all that. But that might be a future project. It is really raining. Holy cow. The pond's filling up. Hopefully it doesn't overflow. But, yeah, I'm just waiting to see, like, a tree go crashing down. But, I will pick back up with you guys when I have some more chocolate. Are you scared of the rain, puppy dog? So crazy, little puppy. I'll get back to you guys once we have an update or something. Okay, guys, so we're back. And, um, we got this pretty much all. I buried it. I dug a, cut a hole in the foam and cut another hole out here. I'm going to either get an extension cord or I don't know what I'm going to do with this wire. I want to hide it somehow. I'm thinking about bringing it. I don't know. I might bring it down. Or bring it up and an extension cord across and down into there or something. I don't know. But basically what I got is this is just this. It starts down here. I guess we'll start. So we have this big pump right here. Or this big, bigger, like, well it's small, but you know, for this thing it's pretty big. Um, tank. Then this smaller one, we got... I mean, we got a pump right here. I don't know why I can't talk. This adjusts how much that comes out. If you go like that, it all comes out there. It's kind of weird. But basically, that that just spritzes there a little. And then this comes up here. And it comes the whole way up here to this top one where it dumps in. I want to try and clean that up somehow, but I don't know how. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I'm, then it drains out through here, falls down into this one, falls, this fills up, and it falls into this one. I think I'm going to put, like, a lot of duckweed on here. Like I said, it's kind of hard for plants to grow. But I'm going to try and put a bunch of duckweed here, and maybe some pea gravel in the bottom. Or I think I might put pea gravel in at least that top one, I know that. I'm not sure about this one. This all right here, I'm going to put pea gravel on, um... Because I can't really grow grass right there. Because I have no way to cut it or anything. But yeah, I'll probably put pea gravel in here. The only thing I'm going to worry about is these guys. Right here. Is them falling into here. And then it would up. But that would be an easy clean. Um, yeah. This is pretty simple. I still got to go get the big flat rocks. And I'm going to be stacking, pushing in those around there. And then um, putting obviously some right there and filling that in some more. And then I'm going to pull all these weeds out right here. And I might put some big rocks right around here. Not sure. But yeah, this looks... I don't know. If I'm up here and you're walking down. And look over and you have like... Well, all that's going to be hidden and stuff. But that'll look pretty nice. I want to try and hide that hose more kind of obvious but I'm not sure how I would do it but yeah this has lots of air in it so I'll be able to put lots of fish in it, it has lots of you know all the puts lots of oxygen oxygen in the water but yeah um I guess this will either be part one or part two 
of me. Um, how long? Yeah, we're pretty. This is part one, so part two, I will be putting all the rocks in and maybe putting fish in. That might be part three, I'm not sure. But thank you guys for watching this episode of The Good Show, and I will see you guys on the, oh, on the next episode. Goodbye.